So let's explore some global monoliths. Now Peru is known for its megalithic structures, and here we are at Sacsayhuaman, outside of Cusco, Peru, and Machu Picchu has the exact same megalithic stones. Now at Machu Picchu, some of them look like they've been created or carved out of existing rock, which is interesting. How did they do this so long ago? What was their technology? It's mind-boggling. And then they carve right into already existing stone. And the water is still running in Machu Picchu after thousands and thousands of years. How did they do that? And these were built to last. This is an earthquake-prone area, and this is the only damage that I found. These crooked rocks, that's where an earthquake hit. And who knew that the Great Pyramid of Egypt was originally constructed exactly like the stones in Peru? And these knobs in Peru are very interesting. So how did they do that? How did they make these? And what were the little... What are these little thingies for? I don't know. These are some huge rocks, but look at the little ones on the bottom. The same knobs that are found in Peru are also found in Egypt, and I believe they were the same type of technology and construction. Very interesting. And here we find an excellent example of the knobs at the base of a pyramid in Egypt. The megalithic stones at the base of the Sphinx are also very similar to Peru. Another amazing megalithic site can be found at Pumapunku in Bolivia. In Iran, we find very similar cuts out of the rock. And here, this arch in Iraq is fabulous. And in Africa, how did they build this? And everyone knows about Easter Island and the megaliths there, but they're identical almost to the ones in Chile. And here in Indonesia, we find very similar monoliths. It's global, I do believe. I had no idea that megalithic structures such as this are in England. And here we are in France. How did they get those huge rocks on top? No video on megalithic structures would be complete without mentioning the standing stones of Stonehenge. Megalithic standing stones can be found globally. And here's the island of Bali. How long ago was a circle structure created in Bulgaria with the standing stones? And in Japan, we find carved rocks very similar to Peru and other places around the globe. I didn't know that Malta off the coast of Italy had megalithic structures. And here's some in Greece. These huge carved monoliths in Turkey are very similar to those found around the world. And here we are at Eagle Mountain in Turkey with megaliths that are similar to Easter Island. On top of Eagle Mountain in Turkey, we find megalithic structures that are very similar to Peru or Egypt. Also in Turkey, we find Gobekli Tepe. I wonder how much these huge blocks in Lebanon weigh. Baalbek in Lebanon is also constructed like all the other megaliths we've been seeing. These huge stones in the wall at Baalbek weigh over a thousand tons. And here's a huge rock that was left behind in the quarry in Baalbek, Lebanon. The construction of this temple structure in Spain is very similar to Peru, but it's on another continent. How can it be? There's so much hiding under the oceans in Bimini and also Yanaguchi in Japan. 
much more will be discovered as time passes. This temple in India was carved directly out of the bedrock. And again in India, we find more megalithic structures carved directly out of the bedrock of this cliff face. And of course in Mexico, we find very similar pyramid structures. These pyramids are global, I do believe. And what I like about it is the rounded stones and how big they are. And then up here on the corner, the way that it's really a big one. How was this carved out in China? It just amazes me. And how did these huge rocks get on top of the others in Java? And Montana in the U.S. has huge megalithic structures. And again in Montana, we find structures that were obviously intelligently created. This appears to be a pyramid with perpendicular and parallel lines in Sedona. There's no way that these perpendicular and parallel lines in the bedrock in Sedona are natural. These are intelligently created. We find similar parallel lines in Colorado. I believe these landscape temples in Sedona were intelligently created. They're just too perfect. And these block rocks in Colorado, how did they get there? Again, in Colorado we find megalithic rocks. And here in New England we find megalithic rocks and structures that were created long ago. And they're similar to this in Spain, another identical looking structure. This is older in the Azores, but very similar concept. Was the Grand Canyon intelligently created? Doesn't look like a river made these.